Go bloody hell. <laughs> Hello, you lot. What are you doing in here? All right. Well, I'm just looking for a place. I've got one of these FTX Baxter things. I'm just looking for a place to put it down so I can take it out of the box and have a look at it. But I've got a lot of stuff on this table. There's a Subaru and that apart. That bench is full up as well. Well, you're here. Why don't you come and have a look with me and we'll see what we got inside. Probably loads of videos of them on the internet all over the place, but let's add another one, shall we? Let's come and have a look see what we can find. God, bloody hell you look. Look at all the stuff we've got apart on this bench. I can't be um, moving any of that. I'll lose bits and bobs. So, let's, uh, I've got an idea. Right. I've set you up on this bench. We've got a bit on here that I've got a bloody Mardane box. We're starting to get to a point. I know I cleared all this off at one point. But we're starting to get to a point again now where it's starting to get cluttered again. So, um, I think another, another clear out is due. But anyway, I've got from active scale models I was going to get the brushless version but they was out of stock of those and so I thought well what I'll do then because I planned on getting this brushed one anyway but later on I wanted to get the brushless one now but I thought you know they got brushless one I didn't know they only had one left so I ordered a brushed one for now and as a little spoiler there's going to be a brushless version come up as soon as they get them in stock at active scale models I'm going to get one so then that way I'll have a brushless and a brushed. And the idea is that me and me do all the kids, and I'll try and get the wife in on it as well, we're all going to just be going out this summer with the electrics. It's all very well with the nitros, but it's noisy, you know. So, uh, that's that side of the box. we got this side of the box, it tells you a load of stuff. You know, bits and bobs, of all the information about it, probably. I haven't even read it myself. What does it say? Uh, accepts lipo and stick batteries you know so it looks like we can stick a lipo in it as well comes with loads of bits and bobs i think it even comes with a battery i'm not entirely sure but we'll find out when we open it and that's exactly the same on that side so i have to open the box the right way around because i'm a bit weird like that let's see what we've got in there so we've got this is lovely i love opening new things are we fully zoomed out here we are i love opening new things you can't see any of it anyway it's difficult when I've got a dodgy screen. So there's the instructions. Um, oh, it looks like we've got the charger for the um, battery that it comes with. Now, I ordered I ordered as well. Oh, I've got two packets of red. Well, I did originally order a packet of black and a packet of red wire because I want to make some charge cables. But for some reason, they've given me um, two packets of red. But that's all right. I'll just go down to back to active scale and I'll just buy a packet of black. Don't matter, I'm going to need it anyway. And I also bought some connectors um, and some of these solder on bullet connectors as well. They don't come in the box obviously, these are separate things that I've bought, but because they personally delivered it to me, um, he just put them in the box. So that's because I'm going to change all my batteries over to these rather than Dean's. And I want to make some charging cables as well so I can charge them all up pretty hastily. Let's see what we got in here. This should be our little box full of transmitting devices. The same transmitter that we get with the FTX Carnage. By the way, some of you may be wondering, why have I even got one of these? Why have I gone down? Why have I gone down the route all of a sudden of FTX? What's this? Oh, you even get a little bit of food. That's not food, don't eat that. Anyway, why have I gone down the route of getting these all of a sudden? Because I'm always going on about don't buy the cheap stuff because it's crap. Well, one reason is, I do believe, I read it somewhere, not entirely sure where, but this isn't actually, you know, it's not all Chinese. At least a portion of this is Brit British, the company is, or whatever. And so I thought to myself, well, oh, there's the black. Did I buy two then? I must have bought two. There's the black. I didn't see that in the bottom there. What's that all about? It's done me a separate packet. I don't know what that's all about. I must have ordered two packets of red then. I thought I ordered one packet of each, but I must have ordered two packets of each. 
and oh whatever anyway there's the black wire so they've sorted that out put that over there and the reason why i've gone for these is because well i thought to myself we want some we want a couple of, couple of electric cars because you know when we go on holiday and all of that and other places nitro cars aren't always you know able to be used because the noise you know if we were in like a holiday park where there's caravans everywhere you know people are on a holiday in caravans and whatever else you know i can't be starting up nitro cars and zipping around holiday parks because it's just too noisy so we take the little electric cars but then they're only small and they can't they can only do so much you can't take them on the beach you can't take them on the sand dunes you can't take them around you know so i thought let's just go for it let's get some bigger electric cars for me, the kids, the wife, you know, all my nieces and nephews, we can all, when we go on day in the caravan parks, we can all just have a zip around on these because everybody loves them. Everybody loves an RC car. I don't care who they are, you know, and they go, oh, they're boring. If you get one out, someone's going to want to have a go. You know, I've experienced it myself, you know. You're zipping it around, you talk about RC cars and people are like, oh, it's not my thing, it's, uh, no, not my thing at all. You get one out and you start zipping around. they like, oh, let's have a go at that then. And they enjoy it. So that's the reason. So I'm going to get up this one. And then when they get the brushless one back in stock, I'll get one of them. And, uh, you know, we'll have a little zip around. Plus, it's just it's just a lot better, isn't it? There'll be plenty of videos coming up. So it's got these connectors on it, which ain't very good. So I'm going to change these connectors for these. X. T60s. Um, no particular reason why I went for the 60s, really. Just, just they're just cheaper than the other ones. So yeah, get a nice little battery in there. What battery have we got? I think it's an 18 milliamp battery. It is 18. I've got some 3,000 milliamp ones um, as well. Plus I've got some lipos that we can stick in there. I don't know. What the maximum lipo is that it can take whether it's 2s or 3s i've got some 3s's and some 2s's so we'll be fine there anyway but nice very pleased with this lovely oil filled shops do you know what and it's not it's not over the top you know i didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds you know um uh, you know active scale they've got this at a reasonable price it's not the cheapest i've seen them for about 90 quid um, but you know what I mean, I like to support my local shop and Active Scale is not only my local one, it's recently come under new management as well, so I always like to support it anyway. But the fact that it's just recently come under new management, um, you know, it, it suggests that perhaps it was struggling at one point and now these people are trying to get it up and running. And so far, you know, the service and the quality is second to none, it's brilliant. So I definitely want to support them. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go there and pay whatever they, whatever prices they are, and away we go. But look at this. I love this shell as well. One of the things that drew me towards this particular one, the Bugster, is because at the moment I've got a proper, like, I just, I really want, like, a 1960s, 70s, or even an 80s VW Beetle. And... Yeah, I'm looking towards getting a classic car. I really want one of those. One of those is bloody hard to come by at the moment, especially with all the heater cores and everything intact. And they're normally been fettled with massively. But I was looking around for a, uh, an electric RC car that weren't going to break the bank, and that I knew was going to be relatively reliable. And that Carnage that we've got, the FTX Carnage, is very reliable nitro car. So I thought, let's go for FTX. I had a look on Active Scale's website, and as I said. I saw this, and I thought, that, that is, look at that, you know, that's why it's called a Buckster, I mean, that's probably as close to a Beetle as you're going to get, and I thought, got to have one of them, so there we go, that's what I got, proper happy with that, you lot, right, before I waffle on too much, I'm going to go and um, find some batteries to put in this transmitter quite a nice transmitter. I mean these are all right the first time I see one of these see I I kind of Relate these type of transmitters with the cheap crap 
Chinese things that you get from um, Nitro Tech. Because when I was buying all them ones from Nitro Tech to see what the Chinese crap was like, it was coming with these transmitters, exactly the same. And I was thinking to my, and they were crap, they really were. They're like all flimsy and plasticky and terrible. Um, these are flimsy and plasticky, but not as flimsy. I mean, look, I'm squeezing that. And there's no creaking. The ones that come with Nitro Tech stuff, they creak, you know, and it just feels crap. These are a lot better. So even though they look pretty much identical, they're a lot better. So, I forgot where I was going with it now, I forget what I was going to say. But anyway, before we go, and I waffle on too much, there's probably loads of, you know, specifics that you want to know. I would say go on Active Scale's website, and it gives all the description about this um, particular car. I'm going to go and charge this battery up. Well, I'm going to go and change the connector on it. Um, and the connector on here. Even though that will get rid of the warranty. But never mind. That's something to remember you lot. If you if you chop that off and put a different connector on it. The warranty is out the window. Whereas if you leave it on obviously you're going to keep your warranty. Um, but yeah. I'm going to change the connectors over. Because I haven't got any of these. I don't know why they always put these on. These are like Tamiya sort of connectors, aren't they? All Tamiya ones seem to have these. I wonder what happens if you've got any charge in it. <laughs> it's got some charge in it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to change the connectors over, charge the batteries up, and, uh, cost stiff. And away we go. See in a bit, you lot. Before I go anywhere, I'm just having a look at this. This is look. It doesn't matter what you say. This is it's like a it's like a British car. I mean, I know you're going to be shouting at me probably and saying, "Oh, parts of this are made." I don't know the motor's made in China. And I don't know where the actual car itself was made, but the fact that they've cable tied the receiver on is such an English thing to do, and it's such a minimalistic car. Look at it, it's just, there's nothing to it. They've literally just stuck that on there, look. And there's a, a random heat sink just wrapped around the motor. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, if I was going to make an RC car, I reckon this, that's probably the way I'd make it, you know? All these more expensive ones, you know, you can pay a £1,000 for an X-Max, you know? Look, they're really more complicated than this. It's fucking brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, enough of that. Enough um, admiring what I've just purchased. Go and change the connectors and charge it up. See you in a bit. Ah. What are you doing? You got a file. Bloody hell. Right, you lot. So I've done the one on the car and I've done one battery already. But somebody asked me the other day, and I've already mentioned it in one video, but someone asked me, how do you solder a new connection on a battery without the, without the uh, wires touching? Well, there's probably many ways of doing it, but the way that I normally do it is, I only do one at a time. So, I've just done the negative. There's not any reason why I've done the negative first. I just, the one I normally do first is negative. Do that one. Heat shrink it up. So there's no way that when you cut that positive one off, there's no way that it can touch the negative wire and short the battery out. It, the only way it can go is in that other connector. You know, you're eliminating any problems there. That's the way that I've always done it and, you know, that way I can't see any problem. So people probably just snip them both and keep them separate, but there's a chance they might touch. So, but that's my way of doing it. This is the battery that comes with this car. I'm going to put this connector on it now and get it charging while I change the connector on this one and also me two lipos. So, I'm pretty excited to get this going. I can't wait. I've also been painting my door. So I've been doing multiple things in one go, but that's, that's the way it is for you. Love it, eh? Let's go. And also, I'm doing it on this bench. Thought I'd use this soldering iron. I haven't used this one in a few months. I love this one. It's a good one, this one. Right, are you lot? So I've got these two batteries here. They're both just ordinary 7.2 volt, 3000 milliamp hour battery packs. That's the same one, I think. Yep, and then you've got the one that come with it, um, the 1800, which is on charge at the moment. And then I've got this. Uh, 20C, 3000 milliamp hour 20C uh, LiPo. So I've changed all the connectors on there. That means I've got one left. 
and all the rest of them are the female ones. So, uh, got plenty of females left. That's the only trouble, isn't it, when you buy a packet of them? I mean, I don't know whether you lot, I don't know whether any of you lot have got, have ever had the same um, trouble. But whenever you buy connectors, you buy a packet, didn't you? And they have pairs. So obviously this, this, these packets have got five pairs. Well, I don't need five pairs, do I? I need one female. And then I needed four males. Uh, so, yeah, I know it, I know. I know it's normal and I know all that. But I just don't understand why... You know, why, why, why can't they just sell like a packet? Well, obviously, they got a cater for everybody, haven't they? But... Who would need pairs? Who would need that many pairs? Because surely it's the normal thing, you know? When you, you when you change the connectors, say you decide you wanted to use all of these, like I have, I've gone from, as you know, I've gone from Dean's, now I've gone to these XT60s. So I want to change my car, so that's one female, and then I want to change my batteries. So obviously I need all the males for the batteries. So, yeah, it's weird. I'm not complaining about it, by no means. Not, not a complaint at all. I'm just saying it's one of the weird observations that I make during, during living through life. You know, you, who needs all the pairs? You should just be able to buy the ones that you need. But it's handy, because now I've got all these females left over. Um, I'm going to make a new charge cable, because at the moment I'm using my charging cable... With the Dean's connector on the end of it, with an adapter that I bought from Active Scale Models years ago, that adapts from Dean's to XT60. So I'm gonna with all that cable that I bought. I've already planned this, which is why I bought the cable. Um, I'm gonna make myself a new charging cable, so I don't need the adapter. I can just charge straight away with that. I might even make two cables because I've got two chargers, so I can actually charge. Um, I can only charge one LiPo, I've only got one LiPo charger, but um, I could potentially charge two batteries together. So I might make two cables, and then that, that way you know, I could just charge two batteries together then, rather than waiting. Say, say if I go somewhere and I run them all down, and then if I want to go out again and whatever, I can charge two batteries together and that'll be that job done. Anyway, I'm going to go and find some batteries to put in there. I've got battery on charge. I don't know what the percentage of this LiPo is. I might see what this percentage is. But I don't know whether. I'm going to have to do a bit of research. Obviously, by the time this video goes live, I've already have found out. But by all means, put it in the comments. Let me know your experiences running LiPos with this. But I'm going to go and find out if it can take a 3S LiPo. Because if it can, I've got one that might fit in it. One that I use for my engine heater for the nitros. Um, I've got this one. 30C 3000 milliamp hour battery. See, so this one I use for my engine heater. And will it fit in? That'll fit in there. Lovely, look. See, now I have to put some, get some wedges for it. So, wedge it in a bit better because it's a bit small. But, you know, if it would take a 3S, then I can always change the connector on that one as well. And then I'll just change the connector on my engine heater. And in that way, they're all XT60. No, there's no Deans involved. I've got my drift car, which is Dean's connector, but I'll just change that as well. So, and also that will use up a lot of me females. So yeah, I don't know, might do that. Anyway, I'm going to go have some batteries for that. And then we'll power it up in this video and just see what it's like. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow is the plan. Tomorrow, I'm going to go and make some ramps and things and have a little jump about. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow, so, yeah. I tell you, this, um... Bloody good of Active Scale. He personally delivered it to me because I ordered. I actually ordered this on Christmas Day at five five a.m. five o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day. I was I got up and I was waiting for the kids to wake up. And so I was looking around on Active Scale's website. I was looking around everywhere doing it on the internet. And uh, I see that they had them. I see they didn't have the brushless. And I was blah blah blah. I was in between, and I thought, oh, I'll just order it now. And then you messaged me on bloody um. What was it? it? Must have been Boxing Day. I don't think it was Christmas Day. He sent me a message and said, "Oh, I'll, I'll deliver it because otherwise you'll have to wait a long time for it to be delivered." I tell you what, bloody good service. Um, you know. So I'm going to go down there anyway. 
and get the brushless one as soon as they get one in stock and then we'll have one of each and then we'll be able to compare anyway won't we have a comparison video see what the differences are as well love it right oh you lot i've just um had a look around i've forgotten as well i also had this battery didn't know that come with that start of oh bloody hell's happened there look my just fell off that ain't very good is it anyway i've got that battery um so I'm going to have to rewire it now, but I have got that one. I can use that one as well. So I've actually got three, um, I've got one LiPo and three other batteries. So that's pretty handy, isn't it? I've plugged that, I plugged this Mavic one in and uh, I'll tell you what, it's pretty lively, you know, it's just all right. I'm pretty excited to go and give it a go. So that'll be for tomorrow. It's getting a bit late now. Um, I've had to go in and, I've had to go in and feed the kids and that and change their nappies and do all that kind of stuff. Miss is in there on her own now. She gets the ump a little bit if she's on her own and I'm out here doing stuff and she's in there. She gets the ump a little bit. So I'm going to go indoors and chill out for the rest of the evening and hopefully see you tomorrow where I make some jumps on the driveway and that. I'm not going to go out anywhere because everything's going to be soaked. I mean, it's proper flooded around here. But I'm make some jumps on the driveway now. I've got some old cabinets we'll smash up and do whatever. And uh, yeah, just see what it's like. Catch you later on, you lot. Thanks for watching. All the best. Oh, by the way, I think some of you are probably going to be shouting at me because um, I've realised I did actually read out on the box, I think. It says you can take a 2S LiPo. I don't think it says anything about 3S, but I'm still going to double check anyway. And by the time I make tomorrow's video, I'll have found out. And I might even have that 3S one in it. Who knows? If not, we'll stick out what we got. So um, catch you later on, you lot. All the best. Enjoy yourselves. And um, oh, just love life, wouldn't you? Look at this, you lot. While I'm waiting for the batteries to charge, I'm just looking at the instruction manual just to see what the... Um, lipo compatibility is and we'll have a look at the box in a minute because i'm sure it says you can but um it says here that uh, switch on blah 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 input 7.2 volt 6 cell not lipo compatible and it's got a thing down here saying although the oh, no, that one uh, that one there this esc is not lipo battery compatible use with lipo will damage the esc permanently so this is the instruction manual but I'm sure it says on the box you can take lipos. Ah, uh, there we go. Moulded chassis except Right. So that, when you read that carefully, that is a bit of a misconception there. Because when you read it properly, that says about the chassis accepts lipos as well. So that's just the battery compartment itself. The actual ESC can't accept lipos. So that's a little bit of a misconception there. Well, not a misconception. I mean, obviously, it's there in plain writing. But if you don't read it properly, as I didn't, you could end up doing some damage. Luckily, I didn't try it with a lipo as yet. But yeah, just thought I'd um, mention that in the video before you lot jump at me and say, oh, no, read the instructions. I do read instructions. So yeah, unfortunately, this ESC can't take lipos. But... We could always change that in the future. We could always change the ESC for one that can take lipos. Never mind. Catch you later.